In many ways, video game sidekicks are a lot like younger siblings. They all too often follow us aimlessly and without any apparent capacity for independent thought. Offering scant backup to a bona fide hero rarely allows much glory for the sidekick, who generally seems perpetually doomed to live in the protagonist's shadow. It's certainly tough, but someone's gotta do it. And by it, we mean carrying our weapons while we do all the work, thank you very much. However, there are occasions where the sidekick actually makes for a far more compelling character than the protagonist, and it's those instances we're looking at for our list today. Usually, the depth of these secondary characters is glossed over for the sake of the story, and in some cases their intriguing nature is only vaguely implied. These characters seem happy to fill the role of sidekick despite the fact that they're taking orders from someone far less interesting than themselves, adding an extra layer of silent heroism to their already impressive list of accomplishments. Just a side note, we will be discussing major plot points for some of the games in this list, so a spoiler warning is in effect. I'm Ben from Triple Jump, and here are 10 videos video game sidekicks who are more interesting than the hero. Number 10. Garrus Vakarian – Mass Effect Series BioWare's Mass Effect series is practically stuffed with secondary characters who seemingly exist to simply live in protagonist Commander Shepard's shadow. Now, admittedly, Shepard is pretty interesting, being that they're the savior of the galaxy and all, but one of the franchise's companions stands out as far more interesting than Earth's beloved Spectre that being Garrus Vakarian. Everyone's favorite Turian love machine, Garrus, is everything Shepard is, but just better. With Shepard's own backstory being dictated somewhat by the player, Garrus has a far more concrete past, and it makes him one of the most impressively interesting figures aboard the Normandy. The Turian started as the Galactic Citadel's resident loose cannon security officer, then graduated to extracurricular vigilante work while helping Shepard fight off evil ancient space machines. Garrus also possesses every single quality that makes Shepard so heroic like being so tough as to shrug off death and having an unwavering, if occasionally questionable, moral compass. The fact that Garrus is content to operate in the shadows instead of basking in his heroism further sets him apart from Shepard and adds an air of mystery and effortless cool to the already badass Turian. Following Garrus on his journey from frustrated police officer to vigilante assassin and eventually savior of all life in the galaxy just makes him so much cooler. Number 9. Captain Price – Call of Duty Series in the military world, describing a superior officer as a sidekick is probably frowned upon. It is, that's true. Luckily, Call of Duty isn't the real military, so we should be safe, but either way, Captain Price has become a staple of the franchise across multiple installments, and he certainly earns his spot on this list. The iconic facial hair of Captain Price first appeared in the World War II set Call of Duty back in 2003, then returned for its sequel, Call of Duty 2. Price later reappeared in Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare, after which he became a franchise mainstay. While numerous playable characters came and went, Price remained a relative constant despite the fact that he doesn't seem to age in his various appearances spanning almost an in-universe century. This either makes Captain Price immortal, which is handy for a soldier, or means that his genes are apparently as bulletproof as his skin appears to be because both the historical and modern iterations of Price look practically identical even down to their facial hair. As the exact nature of Captain Price's timeless appearance is unconfirmed, he certainly cuts a far more interesting figure than many of Call of Duty's faceless protagonists. Number 8. Mission Vow – Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic to put it simply, Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic, or KOTOR as it's more conveniently known, is positively brimming with fascinating characters. Casting the player into the role of Revan, who, spoiler alert for a 20-year-old game, turns out to be an amnesiac Sith Lord, KOTOR definitely seems to boast a pretty intriguing protagonist. In reality, though, Revan is actually quite boring, and the range of choice afforded to the player takes much of the sting out of the game's big reveal. By comparison, companion character Mission Vow actually turns out to be far more compelling, even if the game does skim over some of her backstory. An orphaned Twi'lek who grew up on the streets, young Mission fell afoul of a powerful crime syndicate, then befriended a Wookiee named Zolbar who helped her escape them. Having won the allegiance of a fearsome Wookiee, Mission then opted to help Revan fight the Sith, all of this by the age of just 14 years old. Not only does Mission possess the Oliver Twist charm of a street urchin, but she doesn't have any Force abilities. The idea that a homeless teenager would willingly go up against super-powered space wizards certainly makes her braver and infinitely more more interesting than KOTOR's amnesiac protagonist. Number 7. Donald and Goofy – Kingdom Hearts Series with magical keyblades and Disney characters, Kingdom Hearts manages to make fighting the spread of darkness throughout the universe decidedly more colorful than it sounds. 
And though interesting might not be the first adjective that comes to mind when talking about octogenarian cartoon characters, Kingdom Hearts offers a strange and unexpected insight into Donald Duck and Goofy Dog? Does Goofy have a last name? Goofison, perhaps? Anyway, Kingdom Hearts primarily follows Sora, a young boy tasked with battling the darkness whilst wielding the immense power of the Big Key. He's rarely seen without trusty sidekicks Donald and Goofy, who fight alongside him in the name of friendship. However, in Kingdom Hearts, Donald Duck is actually a powerful wizard and Goofy is the captain of Mickey Mouse's Royal Guard. This means that while Sora hits things with his Big Key, Donald is blasting fireballs and Goofy is fighting literal monsters effectively unarmed. Sora is a compelling hero. Hero, but Donald and Goofy's abilities make them far more fascinating. Donald can harness the power of the elements at will, and Goofy constantly charges into battle, wielding nothing more than a shield like Captain America's hapless, guffawing cousin, so the pair certainly piques our interest a little more than Kingdom Hearts' playable character. Number 6. Nick Valentine, Fallout 4 Living in a nuclear wasteland is enough to make even the most boring person seem interesting, and that means that the Fallout games feature countless entertaining personalities. Fallout 4 sees the player take control of a character known as the Sole Survivor, a pre-war soldier who is cryogenically frozen for over 200 years before waking to search for their lost son. The game features several companions with compelling backstories, but of these, perhaps none are as beloved and mysterious as the robotic private detective Nick Valentine. Nick is one of the Commonwealth synths and a unique prototype one at that. While this should see him ostracized by the fearful humans of Diamond City, Nick is one of the only synths able to peacefully coexist owing to the fact that he's been programmed with the personality of a pre-war police officer. Delving deeper into Nick's past reveals years of experimentation before a daring escape from the shadowy institute, all of which culminated in him opening his own detective agency in one of the most synth-fearing places in the Commonwealth. To say that Nick Valentine has a set of brass reproductive organs is more than just a crack about him being a robot, it explains exactly what makes him so much more interesting than Fallout 4's sole survivor. And if you want to learn more about him and the other companions of the Fallout universe, you should watch our ranked list where we've ranked every single one. Number 5. Daxter, Jack and Daxter Series it's all too easy to think of Jack and Daxter as the other, other Naughty Dog franchise, but as well as the critically acclaimed original game providing some unforgettable platforming, it also offered up some surprising depth in its story and characters. Players assume control of Jack, an elf-like humanoid, as he attempts to unravel the mysteries of the precursors and the powerful substance known as Eco. More important to this list, though, Jack and Daxter also features one of the most talkative video game sidekicks in history. Daxter was once, well, whatever Jack is, but the first game began with a cutscene in which he falls into a vat of dark eco and is transformed into an Otzel, a fictional otter weasel hybrid. Though the idea is largely skimmed over, dark eco is often shown to be fatal or extremely harmful, and Daxter is able to emerge much hairier but ultimately unscathed. This alone is pretty impressive, but the crux of what exactly makes Daxter more interesting than Jack lies in the pair's general characterization. Jack is full of self-serious angst, while Daxter offers practically all of the franchise's comic relief. Even after a transformation that would be devastating to most, Daxter retains his sense of humor and his confidence, proving that he's mentally far tougher than his stony-faced best friend. Number 4. Clank – Ratchet & Clank Series Travel the galaxy and eventually you'll hear the saying, behind every great Lombax is a gadget-wielding robot doing all the heavy lifting. That, that's true, we promise. The Ratchet & Clank franchise is essentially built around this oddly specific idiom that definitely wasn't just made up on the spot by our writer, because while the player character Ratchet gets most of the credit, it's actually his robot buddy Clank that does most of the work. Before meeting Clank, Ratchet is essentially a mechanic with a talent for hitting things with his wrench. However, with the robot's assistance and his handy built-in helicopter blades and jetpack, Ratchet becomes a galactic ranger and saves the galaxy from evil multiple times. In short, Ratchet could never have performed any of these heroic acts without his sidekick's continued support. It's something of a running joke that Clank is smarter and more charismatic than Ratchet, but he also leads a more exciting life. Clank has canonically acted as a secret agent on numerous occasions and has had various adventures independent of the franchise's protagonist. Though Clank spends much of the series acting as Ratchet's glorified backpack, he directly facilitates almost all of the hero's adventures. Without Clank's abilities, Ratchet would be painfully insignificant, and that's what makes the robot so much more captivating than his friend. Number 3. Aku Aku – Crash Bandicoot Series Crash Bandicoot's eponymous protagonist may be one of the most iconic video game mascots of all time, but he's actually far less interesting than some of his supporting characters. 
Of all the unforgettable friends and foes that Crash has encountered on his adventures, perhaps the most intriguing is his mentor, Aku Aku. Though Aku Aku has been a staple of the franchise since its beginning, he's very rarely brought to the forefront of the story. This does add an air of mystery to the sentient floating mask, but it also hides his fascinating backstory. Aku Aku was once a powerful witch doctor who unlocked the secret to immortality by transferring his spirit into a tribal mask. Not only can Aku Aku seemingly live forever in this form, but he can temporarily transfer this apparent invulnerable ability to Crash, making him one of the most formidable beings in the deceptively rich lore of the Crash Bandicoot franchise. This actually makes Aku Aku considerably more interesting than Crash himself, who, though iconic, is really not much more than a mute marsupial. Though the Crash Bandicoot games effectively mask… <laughs> Uh, sorry. Aku Aku's true power by focusing mostly on Crash, the immortal witch doctor spirit is infinitely more spellbinding than his marsupial ward. Number 2. Elizabeth – Bioshock Infinite Bioshock Infinite saw the franchise depart from its much-loved underwater setting of Rapture and head skyward, casting players in the role of disgraced former soldier Booker DeWitt as he attempts to retrieve a captive woman from an airborne city. Although Bioshock Infinite's setting is certainly a uniquely fascinating one, its protagonist is somewhat less enthralling. However, the woman he's there to rescue, Elizabeth, turns out to be the most engaging aspect of the entire game. Booker DeWitt is a relatively normal man, armed with guns and capable of using vigors to enable the use of superpowers. Even being able to shoot lightning from his hands isn't enough to make Booker as interesting as Elizabeth, though, who possesses the ability to create tears in reality, allowing her to travel through an infinite number of alternate universes. This unimaginable power proves to be incredibly helpful even to the vigor-enhanced Booker, and it also serves as the basis for Bioshock Infinite's imaginative story. Though Booker's powers are certainly handy for an assault on an airborne city, and it is revealed later in the game that there's far more to him than meets the eye, Elizabeth's powers rend the rules of space and time entirely obsolete. What's more, Elizabeth also turns out to be Booker's daughter, adding yet another layer to the rich tapestry of her enthralling, if somewhat convoluted, backstory. Also, you get to play as her in one of the DLCs, and it's really fun. Next, number one, Solus, Dragon Age Inquisition. As the story of Dragon Age Inquisition sees a group of adventurers band together to save their world, it's probably not all that surprising that a number of them are quite interesting. However, even though the player takes control of the leader of the powerful Inquisition, there is one companion character that stands out as far more intriguing, even if it isn't fully revealed until the game's final moments. Over the course of Inquisition's story, players meet an elf wizard named Solus, who professes himself an authority on the portals that threaten all of reality. As such, he makes a valuable member of the team, and his occasional references to his unnaturally long life contribute to his overall mystery. However, the game's ending reveals that Solus is actually the Dreadwolf, an elven trickster god to whom the downfall of various other deities is attributed. The shocking reveal rips away the air of mystery that Solus cultivated throughout the game's story, replacing it with something much more sinister. The idea that one of the Inquisitor's sidekicks had been a god in disguise all along certainly puts things into perspective, making the player-controlled protagonist far more boring by comparison. 